For SunSentinel.com, this is Ira Winderman with your latest Ask Ira Miami Heat mailbag. Her first question today comes from Mac in Toronto who says, Ira, I think Goran Dragic will be dealt by the trade deadline if Miami is not in the playoff picture. If he plays really well, he could net picks and prospects. Mac, you first have to remember that the Heat owe what still could be a pair of lottery picks to the Suns for Gorn. So in other words, if you trade him for less than that, you're basically trading at a loss. I think what first has to happen is the Heat have to attempt to play at Gorn speed. See if they finally can play with the motor that he plays at. Of course, there are issues. If Chris Bosh comes back, he prefers a half-court game, and the Heat will have to make a decision then. But I think the Heat still have to try to do everything they can to see if they can make the Dragic experiment work. Remember, you can always hide him defensively, especially if he's playing alongside Josh Richardson or even Justice Winslow, who are capable of defending opposing point guards. Our second question comes from Daniel in Miami, who says, Do you think that if the Heat would have known they weren't going to re-sign Dwayne Wade, they would have given Joe Johnson a contract to stay in Miami? Daniel, I think the Heat might have, but I do not think it would have been the two-year deal that Joe Johnson received at $11 million per year from the Utah Jazz. I'm also not so sure that Joe would have wanted to stay if he knew that Dwayne Wade was not going to be part of the Heat. I think the ultimate reality is Joe right now is more of a secondary scorer, if even that. So he goes to Utah, he gets to play alongside Gordon Hayward, at least till Gordon addresses his free agency after the coming season. And our last question comes from Rich in West Palm Beach, who says, To me, the addition of Baino Udre is the Heat returning the favor of Udre keeping the Heat out of the luxury tax. Nothing to do with win-now mode. And Rich, you could be absolutely correct, and it definitely is a factor. Now, if the Heat were to turn around and cut Baino before the start of the season, perhaps in favor of Briante Weber, that would offer even greater clarity. But you're absolutely right. Baino did the Heat a huge favor when he took his buyout after his season-ending foot injury, and the Heat have had an offer on the table ever since. So I think there is sort of a factor of loyalty to all of this. I guess we'll see during training camp how far and how deep that loyalty runs both ways. Those are today's three questions. We'll be back tomorrow with three more. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Ira Winderman.